but with wisdom. It is our impatience that invites in the parasite of big government. And once you've invited it in, it will never stop feeding on the body of the city. Okay, got that crossbow damage increase. Here we go. Oh, dicks. That's not what I want to see. Uh, okay, on, let's get a better weapon out. Okay, shut your ass down for a second. No, stop. Hi. She's not she's not gonna come out. I already took care of them. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and for those of you who do know, well what was the code for that door? Was it had did it, did it have something to do with those numbers like I said? Or was it like a completely different thing that I probably just missed? Probably. Or probably saw it and just didn't even think about it. There we go. Of course, I picked the giant thing up and put it in my pocket. Does it look like it's a real bomb? It better. You got to put it on the core, past geothermal control. And we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. Damn it. The audio is cutting out again. And it was cutting out again. Out of here. Yeah, see, whenever whenever the, the fighting gets very intense, the audio starts chopping. Hi. I, dude, I told you, she's not in there. She's not going to answer you. Okay, keep banging away. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, need some film. Okay, there. What about what about ammo? Now we can get ahead back to Ryan. Coming for you, Ryan. Your time at the top is over. Thank you. Excuse me, buddy. Oh yeah, first we have to go place this in geothermal, that's right. Looks like the ocean's got an itch to retake this corner of rapture. This happened right after the start of the war. Read about it in the papers. Head on in. I'll see what I can dig up to help. Okay, now I'm definitely going to try and hack these because I think... Yeah, we're going to have some resistance here. So I'm going to hack these. I feel it really is going to help. Let's go this way. Boom. Actually, up first. That way. Nice. There we go. So you're on my side. Certain. Just to be certain. <laughs> uh, well, I'm setting up stuff right now. That will hopefully be of some kind of help. Here we go. Cool beans, boyo. Cool beans. <laughs> Give me all the stuff. Ooh, proximity mines. You know what? It's not a bad idea.
Don't know where they're coming in from, but wouldn't hurt to lay down a few things to give me a little help, you know? So, oh, not right there, but sure. So right there. Fuck. This thing doesn't shoot straight. Right there. Uh, and then I'll pick... Where was it? Just don't blow me up, mines. Let's do this. Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't know. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you. Quick death, perhaps. It will be preferable to what you will learn if you win. Shit! We got a Houdini. Hold on, I keep. Come on, Where? Is he under? He was on. He was under here. What a sneaky little guy. Well, that was really easy. <laughs> a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Pick these back up. No, damn it. Okay, let's go. Four time. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. But for some reason, you like it here. Feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second, and maybe the word will come to you. Nostalgia. Again, it's really cool how Ryan knows whatever it is he knows, and is well, he's slowly drip feeding you throughout the whole entire game. And at the very end, now he's starting to pick it up and be more blunt and more like to the point about it. Okay. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. Ryan, I'll be unreasonable now. Damn little robot. Help me. <laughs> Help me fight your own kind. Shit. I need a better weapon. What in the world, man? This is craziness. <laughs> okay. You're going down, Ryan. In the end, all that matters to me is me. And all 
that matters to you is you. It is the nature of things. <laughs> it's pretty much the nature of man, too. Everyone's out for themselves, and... Sure, people say they care. And sometimes they genuinely do. But when it's a survival situation or something like that... Every man for themselves. Every man for themselves. Even in the Book of Lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy. Come now, my child. There is one final thing to discuss. What? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk for the whole joint blows! You have to give me a minute, though. I have to do some looting and exploring. <laughs> Initial deployment, Vita Chamber. Client Ryan Industries, a stage one need to complete. Sinclair and Alexander tried to explain the science to me, but the Sujan does not believe them. They keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement that, and they prove dead people come back to life. Bullshit! Of course, Ryan will only allow it to be tuned to his genetic frequencies for the testing. Did you hear that? Big, big revelation there. The Vita Chambers we've been going around this whole time, every time we die we go back to a Vita Chamber, it's tuned to Andrew Ryan's frequency. His genetic frequency, he's the only one that's allowed to use them. Now, how does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? When we can go, and Ryan can go, with that in mind, Take note of what Ryan said before. He called us his greatest mistake. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Another big revelation there. Su Chong, the scientist that we'd kind of you know been been shown, again sprinkled throughout the, throughout the game. Would you kindly? That's us. 
That's us right there. That's Jack. Would you kindly... Would you kindly break that puppy's neck? overcome my final defense and now he's come to murder me in the end what separates a man from a slave money power no a man chooses a slave obeys you think you have memories a farm a family an airplane, a crash, and then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash, or was it hijacked? Forced down, forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase. Spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand. Would you kindly? Run. Stop. Turn. A man chooses, a slave obeys. Kill! A man chooses! Well, that sucks. The most powerful scene the whole entire game was buck was was borked, it was broken. What a piece of shit! That's so dumb. Well, anyway, that that explains everything, really. We were made to obey. Now, where were we? Son? I don't know. Possibly. Uh, I'm sure people know exactly, but I just know we were made bread, whatever, through his genetic material. What I'm thinking is that lady that said that she got pregnant by Ryan, I'm thinking that, uh, that we're their son, and we were made, brainwashed into the listing, would you kindly, and became a slave. <laughs> this time 
There we go. Oh, and that's why this game back in 2007. 2007. Who's he? He's <laughs> the one who saved me. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, 2007. I looked it up. 2007. That's why it was so revolutionary back in the day. Like, the story was like nothing else we'd seen up to this point. Made you think? First game to make you think in quite a while. Granted, I don't want to poo-poo on some, a lot of games. A lot of games make you think. But this one was really deep. The twist was amazing. Back in the day when you first genuinely saw this twist, Atlas was Fontaine, the guy who disappeared after the war began. and <laughs> Yeah, it was fantastic. Fantastic. Well, anyhow, guys, I will uh, wrap it up for this session here. Join me next time while we continue through Olympus Heights. Hopefully getting one step closer to now taking down Atlas. Yeah. So. I want to thank you guys for watching. I've been Hello Japan. This has been Bioshock. And I'll see you guys next time with whatever I make. See ya.